Hello everyone. Today I want to talk a little bit about ACLS electrical therapy. Basically, when do you defibrillate? What is sync cardioversion and why do you use that? And what is transcutaneous pacemaking? We're just going to summarize them real quickly and talk about the different dysrhythmias you use each one for. All right, so let's just get started. So one of the things during ACLS you're going to have to determine sometimes is that is a, an arrhythmia, is it stable or if it, is it unstable? Typically, if a patient is stable with, their, with a certain arrhythmia, you've got a little bit of time to push medication therapy and see if that works. If they are unstable, you're probably gonna have to move to some form of electrical therapy very quickly. So here are some things to look at to determine if a person is stable versus unstable. Their level of consciousness. Typically, if somebody is alert and oriented, they're probably stable. However, if they've gone from alert and oriented to very confused, very lethargic, they've had a level of consciousness change, and that could be considered unstable. Look at their BP. 120 over 80s, relatively stable. It's a normal BP. But if somebody has a dysrhythmia and their blood pressure is 60 over 30, that's going to be considered unstable and you're probably going to have to move to some type of electrical therapy. So moving into blood pressure, that goes into signs of shock. So just shock, no matter what type of shock it is, it is a profoundly low blood pressure. Okay, you will have level of consciousness changes. You will have maybe cold, clammy skin. All right, so look for signs and symptoms of shock. If the patient complains of chest pain, chest pain is indicative of an arrhythmia being unstable. And then signs of heart failure. So signs of heart failure could be very obvious, like uh, from, uh, pink frothy secretions being coughed up, or it might not be as obvious, but it could be just listening to the chest, hearing coarse crackles. Okay, so any of these things, if they are indicating um, instability, a, a patient is probably going to need to be have some form of electrical therapy. So let's talk. There's only three forms of electrical therapy. There's defibrillation, synchronized cardioversion, and transcutaneous pacing. All right, so let's do defibrillation first. Defib is used for ventricular fibrillation and pulseless VTAC only. Okay, and so what this means, here's our little life pack defibrillator. So you can turn this on, you can set your energy level, and if a person is in V-fib or pulseless VTAC, meaning you see VTAC on the monitor, reach up and see if there's a pulse. If it's pulseless, we're gonna defibrillate. So we're gonna select our energy source, we're gonna charge it up, but here is what defibrillation does. When you put those pads on the chest, when it is time, and you hit that shock button, Okay, as soon as you hit that button, the energy is released from this machine to the patient's chest immediately. Okay, so defibrillation, the energy is released as soon as that button is hit. Okay, that's defib for VFib and pulseless VTAC. All right, synchronized cardioversion, however, is different. This is typically used, if we're talking about something being unstable, this is used for unstable tachycardic arrhythmias. So AFib, A flutter with a rapid ventricular response, supraventricular tachycardias, VTAC with the pulse, okay? So if somebody's complaining of chest pain, they have level of consciousness changes, their blood pressure is low, reach up, fill for a pulse. If you feel a pulse and they're very tachycardic, they are a candidate for synchronized cardioversion. So it is the same machine, all right? We put the pads on the chest, we turn it on, we set our energy level, but there is a sync button right here. You have to push that sync button, and what happens is the machine lines up. I don't know if you can see it, I'm gonna help draw it out. So here's the EKG rhythm. See how fast that is? So right here and here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here. All right, the machine has highlighted that R wave. So when you hit the, um, the shock button, it's only gonna let that electricity go 
on top of the R wave. That's the correct sp spot on that EKG to keep them from hopefully going into a life-threatening arrhythmia. So synchronized cardioversion, when you hit that sync button, it synchronizes that electricity to be let loose only on the R waves. All right, so synchronized cardioversions are for unstable tachycardic dysrhythmias. And the last one is transcutaneous pacing. Transcutaneous pacing, we are actually capturing the heart and we are controlling the rate of the beat, okay? So, um, so it's used for symptomatic or unstable bradycardias and second and third degree AV blocks. So with this, we can use the same machine. The pads are placed on the chest, typically anterior and posterior. And see here, you've got the ability to make this pace and you can turn up or down the rate. You can set the rate at whatever you want and the current at whatever you need to, to capture the heart. And basically what happens is this machine will then pace at a certain rate. It'll capture the heart and hopefully that energy will cause the heart to contract when we want it to based off of that rate and that energy level. So again, for symptomatic or unstable bradycardias and for second and third degree AV blocks. So I hope this helps. Really simple to keep them straight, but now it's just really laid out very simply. See you soon.